Assalamu alaikum cherished viewers. You're welcome to an amazing episode of the Songa Heritage Show right here on Baina TV with me, your host, Jamila Umar Tambasa. On today's episode, we are going to have a discussion on the establishment of the Songhai Empire. As usual, it promises to be inspiring, educative, and interactive. Our proverb of the day is Bora Shinga Bon Shifa, which literally means you don't blow your own trumpet. What are your suggestions on this proverb? Please make them known in the comment section. You're watching us live on Baina TV on Facebook and on YouTube. Don't forget to like, share, and make your opinions known down below in the comment section. With me today, we have Mr. Muhammad Saeed Maiga. You're welcome, Mr. Muhammad. Thank you, Jamila. We want to know more about you. Who is Mr. Muhammad Saeed Maiga? Well, thanks to your viewers, my name is Muhammad Qamaruddin ibn Saeed Maiga, as you mentioned. We thanks Baina TV for this wonderful program so far. My name is Muhammad Qamaruddin. My friends call me Muhammad Sidu. I was born and bred in Ghana, in Ashanti region. I schooled in Ashanti region from primary to GHS. My father passed away. We moved to down to Accra here, somewhere early 90s. I continued my senior high school at Adonton Secondary School at Ibri Mountains, mm -hmm. where I completed my senior high school in early 1999. Okay. Yeah. I also got involved in business by then. Okay. You know, our people, when it gets to subtle stage, they will ask you, you don't have to continue, go find some job doing. <laughs> we yeah. can't finance you again. Yeah. So it affected my education. I couldn't go to tertiary by then. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I got involved in business, sailing, onions, attack with blue sheep until 2002 I was employed as pump attendance with Universal mm -hmm. Company then I work as supervisor again after four years I was promoted to be a station manager at the station level and then I also work with some few companies as agent for them. Yeah, until recently I work with a transport company called Imperial Transport okay. in charge of fuel delivery and distribution. Okay, thank yeah. you very much, Mr. Mohammed. Dine Songe Empiro, Machin Sigane Songe Empiro. Well, Songe Empiro Nasara Mani Senda Machinti Songe Empiro. You see, Songe Empire was a state that dominated the Western Sahel in the 15th and 16th century. It was one of the largest empire in African history. Wusi songe teri wu tihuna sitina gay. Ayo. Songe teri din ne 15th, 16th century. The nakapka ka senyo the 21st century. Negadu bajiri zengu gu kahuri dura. Fam. Ayo. Wusi songe teri agabise jiri zengu gu dooga. Ayo songe teri mo asintin iruhundi labora kanti mali. What did in Gao Nganura song a terry hundi tabatia sintin Ngasi handin mo song a terry 
amanatikala koyiranu nga bonsi kan dumu kunna cara mangarara fulange gara aine ha gara belle gara lara be gara kade gara a halama dan ir surgu boro cirwi ngida mu igo songe tare fula ciri da dumi bubu kan hunzaro igo koira wodara i durnya songe tare e kus songe tare asilogi dumba kan hun ayo wono irga faham da songe tare asilo wasi songe age ayo de machinti jiro um the exact century in which um, the Songhai Empire was established. Very Would you well. like to know about it? Well, in 1590, well, in the Sony Aliber, the Kunda Iribori Gana Be Mo, the Sony Ali, popularly known as Sony Aliber, ayo escape to city of gao mm. and establish songhai empire that's beautiful yes he conquered the nearby regions and he established songhai empire and by also controlling some of the major cities the trade cities such as Tumbuktu and Jenni. Ayo Gasi Songitari Irmani Sonali Berga Sintin. Sonali Ber Ahurukata Gaura Jiri Morara Kangaka Gaunga Jinkanadi. Ana Gao Lama Bori Hanga Bandi Handi mo la matara mantikala gabi kwari nda hini jina bori ma bondumana ayana gabi chaba ananga wangizi ka kwerewe kanga mangao kurkiri anida nga fula chira agira sandirmane tumbuktu wada kinahar jinda jenne weye ngira mali Kumar Sambiri Kulgu Iri Kambagui Iri Sanda Kumar Santari Maler Handin Kuire Hinka Ora Iga Hansa Kabara Gase Wedin Geti Haya Kanaga Himaka Dui Kani Tonton Gaoga Hala Empiro Ame Hinka Du Gabi Wedimo Anati Kanati Mo A Succeed Wono Aige hinka harmani, iyo sanda empiro hunde ama establish tokono. Aga go filo fuye la sanda 1464. Ayyo 1464, Sony Aliber. Ngada mo kangaka, sanda nga hunde wangiza birino, mali empiro ra, akeira kadumba, kakaka songe empire din. Tabatangi feri gafam weya mo ago filla weira kansi irima. Insha Allah. If you're not if you're now joining us, we are still on the Song I Heritage show. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Um, what are some of the factors that led to the establishment of the Song I Empire? Yeah, the factors are many. Some of the major factors that led to the Songhai, uh, let's say, political economic factors mm. and then social factors. These factors led to the Songhai Empire. These factors make the rise of Songhai Empire greatly yes so how did um, politics and uh, economic um, factors contribute to its establishment in what way okay 
the the social factors are that the Songhai merchant work partnership with other kingdoms and then the political economic factors are also embarking on military campaign military conquer you know those era if you don't conquer you are nobody yeah you have to be conquer so many battles and looted their wealth to become powerful so songhai empire conquest some of the cities and surrounding land within songhai empire largely land that vast goes to nigeria comes down to ghana to the some of the sahel region to niger all was captured under the songhai empire yeah so that is the political economic factor okay um, it is known that before the establishment of the songhai empire there was um the old ghana empire mm -hmm. the mali and the mali empire too so what role did the breakdown of these empires play in the structuring of the songhai empire that made it one of the greatest empires in, in the world history. Okay. The Rus, the Ghana, Mali, and Songhai Empire have trade in common. Okay. Yeah. The gold and salt trade in Africa is one of the biggest trade in that era so Ghana use its roots to tax the traders in partnership with the Songhai Empire so they have all have something in common yeah. that is the trade yes as the primary bloodline of their civilization the ghana mali and songhai empire in that era they are having a very good relationship you can imagine on in those era ghana is one of the favorite kingdom or empire that allies with Songhai and Mali Empire. Ghana, Mali have trade in common mm. in their primary life, la uh, life blood in their civilization. Ghana has enjoyed a lot from Songhai Empire. The Ghana Empire, you mean? The old Ghana Empire? Yes. Yes. Because of their partnership. Yeah. Yes. Ghana control all the routes of the gold and salt trade. So he tax those traders and he's earning and gaining more in partnership with Songhai Empire. Mm -hmm. So they have something in common. Yeah. Um, the Equator for him, many Maroc and the Libyan can, since the song I empiroga in a in a halfway and ton ton empiroga. Yeah. Ayo, machinti haye we can inite. Machinti haye jare can inite ka ton ton empiro beroga. Ayo empiro hundi. Ibo bom ma empiro hundi. Nasarmani Jolos Igat the Bari Zari Wiri Kandangi Mahinka Emperor Kiri because at the Emperor Gabanta West Africa can get the Moga Shindi got the Emperor the Kurkan Chindi other kingdom said it is about Kalangima do song a Emperor 
bangi mai charga kana kaidin gimati ngase during the reign of askia muhammad the songhai empire begin to decline in 1590 Moroccan army invaded Songhai Empire in search of gold. In result of this, it caused violence, distress, poverty. And so many Songhai tribes have to scatter and go find life elsewhere. Yeah, so that was the fall of Songhai Empire in Askia, Ishak the second under uh, the leadership of Tudar Pashak of Morocco this is the dynasty called Saad dynasty of Moroccans they invaded Songhai Empire yeah education is um, one of the major reasons for the early recognition of the Songhai Empire yeah. what are some of the the factors it contributed to its recognition. Yeah, also part of the factors that contributed to Songhai Empire was they are skillful farming. They are very skillful farming and fishing. They are also in exchange of trades. They are also skilled in iron made technology. So some of the kingdoms and traders come long way to Songhai Empire and run a trade. So these are some of their contribution, contributed factors. Yeah, so Songhai Empire are farmers too. They farm a lot. Yeah, sure talk about farming were there other um, um, other occupations major occupations that led to the contribution um, that contributed to the rise in the economic power of the Songhai Empire Machinity <laughs> Darayan Dara Dara Nda Bungahiri Yang Kans Nda Haiwana Kans Nda Saragani Crafts Wedin Kur Iganiti Bore No Kang Iga Ho Iga Hamisa Ho Bore Gak Iga Di Nga Faham Bore No Kang Ga Takubati Iga Wan Takubati Yu Takubati Mi Chimi Henna Iga Wan Ga Kara Wedin Kur Lara be iga kiga de iga and the queer of four young iga kiga de iga qui. Gatti we young hai no kanga ton ton and puro hundiga kanda no gabi. Come mana tinda ngi hundi chiro kiga kaigana za ido and then gi wurao. Wo ngi ti beri. Aya ma mali ga sange emperu. Zati bore no kang iga guishenda ti. Guishenda kul kanga adami za gehima kana te kuli gada ti. Iyi mana te fuyan te yeswany. Ayyo. Mahanska fanda gwenda bera kangana nuirishe Mr. Muhammad Saeed Maiga. He made mention of other occupations that the people that were found in the Songhai Empire engaged themselves in such occupations were bead making, weaving, fashion, and other relating occupations. Thank you very much, Mr. Muhammad Maiga. 
Hari fo kan ga ti tendi eh Ghana wara sanyo da kan shiga ne Housing and Population Census na sara manahar ayo idga ba ma iri bore no bere wodinga wodi kan exercise so kan i kaka na te Ghana idga ba ma iri no bere wodinga ayo 2021 census so exercise no kan te hay te jino ayo agay Jiru e kaka jiru e kul gana la bogati. Wa yeng gindi ge hinka di kuira kui jine enu. Gana populationu nda huge kangara nda ngi bahuna taka. Ngi ino wate kang sandirmane sta tekse ikaka na dencharara. Ege hinka faham da manga gana tu sanyo. Nda Jiru e kambisa irgwanda gana ra, for example, baromilun waranka. Senyo da hamishi ndi kaba kaben. Kuligabe kan gana gwanda baromilun waranza wala waitachi. Ayo weyang agono. Gana manga china katu. Hungi kan gono jiru wei bandaga. Senyo da marjanu nga tonton. Kuiraga china wala ges asi china. Yalla dumifoye no keka kaka tonton dume iga kangono jiru i bandaga. Dume we da kwene, manda taka kanda iga huru, iga gana tonton, iga gana faba. Weyen kul ago hayara kang government o gabangama abe. Nga si, hayeno kam burkur maso humbur. Ayyo, let no one deceive you that you are not part of process. As particularly my Songhai community, we will get counted, insha'Allah. Because in Nakato Jamao Kudu, Kang Ima Suhumbur, Wu Tisanda Kuiri Zatarino. In Nama Irgaba Iral Haku Hinodu, Irge Kaba Irmadi Iral Shilama Tara, Manga Irilevulo to Kuiraura. Walla Ir minority Tara Hunda Gwanda Gab Walla Sinda Gab. Wui kul fakta siya no kirga baga. Nga se bora nima ni bonfaba iruko ima ni faba. Kamana tindiri songe bori. Dume kanchindi kulurunda nguna. Sanda irma ni gonjawi. Wala moshe. Wala kotokuli. Dume di mebaro buna. E kulwo yina za easy. Ega participate. Machinse iri songe bori. Nda hayeka irga zurasi. Suba nda bora kai gani te yew aga dorniga. Nga se ni makai. Manal hako wiri. Mani bondang goyo rakala kuhirize kurga huu. Nga rasuba borfosi hinka. Nga lhako taanu kwari. Ayyo. Nga se kuhirize tari. Nti nga shendiri irgo na ngura. Sanda ti kaduno kama kui votu ti. Nti kadosuno kama ni yautara tabatandi. Haede ino kansirgani population and housing census counting no. Baye uno kan jaja niga hunda ka hun kuira. Ndaka nini do unge hinkana da ngara. Problem kusara. Ayyo. Nga se woka ngayigana ngari iriso ngay boriga. Ima hansa ka kukari ima ngibunga komitu guyu ura. Goyno kan we all fighting to the to the building of Ghana. We are Ghanaians. Songe bori Ghana bori no. Iru go kuira ora za independence hundi imana duendi. Machi se borfoga ni humbura ndinda hafo mo humbura asino. Ghana nga kuiri zetera hundi hai donan tiza foga na no boras. To become a Ghanaian, sanda by adoption. To become a Ghanaian by even marriage. To become a Ghanaian by even sanda uh, natural naturalization. We yon kurboga borate Ghanaian. So machin se nikang nira haindi ni baba go nira za independence. Ni kaga za independence hundi e go nira. A mahala sanyo irbine ga jiti. Ir mahansa ka alhana. Ghana iri labono. Gana mo kweri za tara burkuru sehinka kakana ni kweri za tara taa nikwana. Nanti nika bandana. 
Yo. My hands got thunder going. In retrospect, don't forget to get counted. You have to be counted. You are a citizen of Ghana. All he's saying is the Songhai people also form part of the population of Ghana because most of us have been here before independence. We were born there. There's a lot of um, Songhai population. There's a major population of the Songhai people who were born here or who are citizens by marriage or adoption. So get counted. It's very important. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Mr. Muhammad Saeed Mega, for handing our invites and educating us more. And we wish to have you here on our show once Inshallah. again. Cherished viewers, thank you for joining us on today's episode. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms. On Instagram at Baina underscore TV. On Facebook and YouTube at Baina TV and on Twitter at Baina Media. Don't forget to like, share and make your opinions known in the comment section. Assalamu alaikum.